something. I could see horror movie kind of vignette okay. here. Okay, so I forgot to end the break, um, and I sang the song uh, just to the ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. It was top notch. Yeah, it was yes. good. It was good. It's gonna be twice okay, as nope. good this time. <laughs> For several years now, we've all hoped that we'd return to TV tropes. At hour fifteen, it comes true as we delve into nightmare fuel. It's irritating internet. We all deserve what we get. Obsessing with mass media on garbage day. Cha cha cha. Yay. Yay! Just as good the second time. Even oh, I better. Think better. Oh, I think I know yes. Or even better when you're dead. <laughs> Why would you say that? Yes. I just. It's so spooky. Don't say things like that. You get curt. It's an egg. Respect. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, oh, God. It's a spawn of Satan. Off. <laughs> So uh, here we are. I'm hosting this. I'm really good at at thinking and uh, being hey, awake. Wait a minute! I hate all you of you. I'm not anyone's friend. <laughs> <laughs> you're nice. you're Adam Bozar's friend. Oh, yeah. everybody's my friend. Bump girl. Oh, that's is my true. Okay. Favorite person in the whole world. <laughs> she in no way contributed to my dialogue. Hey, bump girl. <laughs> oh no! Apparently, okay. Apparently, I did perform the thing to everybody, and then immediately ah. put it back on break. God, I'm really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you've been up for too long and are on a whole bunch of drugs. Yeah, almost. You can do it. Okay, uh, cartoons are terrifying. Nikir Draken has given us a document called uh, "TV Tropes Nightmare Fuel." This is the from the Nightmare Fuel uh, trope page on TV Tropes. TV Tropes is a. Uh, I don't know. understand how that's a subset. It's nerds categorizing things forever. Yeah, nerds what, on the really internet? love categorizing yeah. <laughs> things. Okay. No, but like TV Tropes equals Nightmare Fuel, right? <laughs> well, let's find out. Hey, Bump Girl. Uh oh. Uh, tell us about the t- the Nightmare Fuel trope page. The Nightmare Fuel. Oh. This is never ask questions, kids. This yeah. is what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nightmare fuel trope page. Inspiring quote. What do you fear? Fear fact story. Comma, <laughs> fear campaign. <laughs> Nicely done. This stuff is so horrifying that it can give the people the creeps for years. This stuff scares the pants off of just about anyone to the author slash creator's delight. And there go this my makes... pants. <laughs> just throw them off. I don't care. <laughs> this makes you shrink in the back of your chair, but only at that spot. The rest of you is no, still normal sized. Or maybe even hide behind the sofa. Link to another trope. Look over <laughs> your shoulder and remind yourself what's going on is usually only fictional. For many horror linked to another trope films, achieving this effect <laughs> is the whole point. And many in-universe examples arise because trope kids shouldn't watch horror films. For some reason, that's a trope. Okay, yeah. anyway, I'm assuming every link on this is to a trope. Um, yeah, it is. Because, you know, <laughs> life's I, life's okay. a trope when you think about it. Links to Hollywood psych. <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> life's a trope and then you die. Remember, yeah. kids, that's our moral for this hour. Um, many then of you us go like to the to... Darth Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to find the bottom of the internet. Uh, for some reason, many of us like to be scared on purpose. There may be a euphoria generated by surviving something that seems scary, or maybe we know that fiction can't hurt us, not physically anyway, and the idea of choosing to be scared without the danger is fun. Some think it's it's cathartic or therapeutic in some way to explore our fears from a position of relative safety. In any case, this is normal for the genre. Others are fascinated by the very things that most people avoid linked to a trope. Occasionally, I was, but, like to our website. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I clicking these links. I can't say that's inaccurate. <laughs> that's that's. And there go my paying... pants again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not paying me enough to look for his pants. Um, occasionally, it overlaps with squick link to another trope. Similarly, some public service announcements trope choose to employ terrifying imagery in order to keep people away from doing dangerous things trope. These can be sources of fridge horror trope as well. Oh my god, this is going to be fucking exhausting, sorry. Mm -hmm. As those from different cultures or eras past can demonstrate some intensely creepy, family-unfriendly Aesop's 
linked to another trope. Wait, if they're from different cultures or eras past, how are they reading this document? <gasps> dun dun dun! You were the ghost, and you wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why it's my author's creator's delight. Ah, <laughs> oh, I am the author. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I wrote this. Anyway, right. okay. On Let's the other hand, nightmare. <laughs> 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 okay on the other hand nightmare fuel not a link um doesn't exist just in the horror genre and is not always the main focus of the films and shows in which it is present in the case of such movies and shows where nightmare fuel or anything is related to horror is far from the norm it can be unsettling when it does occur due to the stark contrast especially if the genre of the film or show is far from horror such as comedy or animation or when in a show with a very specific target demographic which is apparently a trope what do you mean it's for kids? Uh, That's what it links to. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's... Uh, Thank you. Thank uh, you, researcher. All right. I think, I think we get the point here. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop me. Yeah, Somebody yeah. stop me. Yeah, yeah. So let's... Uh, I understand how this is nightmare fuel now. Okay. So let's let's get to some of the actual examples of nightmare fuel here. Shall we? That wasn't one? Let's explain. That's explaining. That's explaining. That's explaining. That's explaining. That's explaining. Yeah. That's so, my nightmare. So we've got something here called... Sp- Pokemon. Ooh. Poor tax. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I'm giving this to you. Okay, okay. Oh, look, it's Wendell. got a picture of Lavender Town. That, that applies super scary. I got a dead people in there. Uh, Not the ghosts. The ghosts. Kadabra and Alakazam are said to have incredible intelligence and psychic abilities. More so with Alakazam, like telekinesis, nothing could stop them from doing whatever they wanted. Ooh. I suppose. It sounds like that should be part of a fetish thing. <laughs> Pokedex entry once says... No, no, Cortex, stop one being one. on the Dojinchi doc. That you got to <laughs> <laughs> one. And then Hero, totally behind. <laughs> it happened one morning. A boy with extra sensory powers awoke in bed, transformed into Kadabra. I mean... Poke girl what? now? I don't, Is that a bad thing? I don't remember I mean, that. Whatever. According to the old red and blue Pokedex entries, Alakazam's IQ is said to be 5,000 compared to Stephen Hawking's 200-ish. And in yellow, it states that Alakazam can memorize anything. Oh, no, it can recite pi to 5 million places? Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking, yeah, that's It won't scary. stop talking. <laughs> Alakazam Alak- wrote this entry. <laughs> <laughs> Alakazam is super cool, and everyone loves him. Alakazam is the embodiment of Squishy Wizard? What? That's not a link to a trope, surprisingly. That's not, yeah, just curious. the concept of Squishy Wizard. I think someone squishy... stripped out the links of this section. Yeah, unless, like, that's the only explanation. Wizards. It can't even move having to telekinetically control his body parts. It could die just by having its muscles waste away. Is that... Is that... I mean, it, uh, it's like... Uh, these cartoon characters are exaggerated. If they were real, that would be really scary. <laughs> I'm scared of Alakazam. If you dropped an anvil on someone's head in real life, they would totally die. <laughs> God, speaking of which, okay, Tentacool and Tentacruel are based on jellyfish. Ooh, jellyfish have tentacles lined with millions of tiny stinging structures designed to inject venom that, depending on the species, would cause incredible pain or death to humans. I mean... Okay. You know what's scary, guys? Jellyfish. It, what makes this it worse kind of the jellyfish, right? Tentacle status is goddamn bats, which is a trope in the water areas seen in the games. Yeah, I suppose if real life you were surrounded by box jellyfish, that would suck. But like, is is is, is cartoon jellyfish can't hurt you? It's not scary. <laughs> okay, I'm even like thinking about jelly. <laughs> okay, uh, come quiet. Oh yes, hello. Yeah, we're uh, we're scrolling down past uh, past Boogio. <laughs> Because I want, because I want to get into the, the really good pun of the power dangers. Oh. <laughs> you just make this doc. Oh, I, just thought was, the... I thought it was like power dangers. Like, <laughs> oh, dang. Dang. Actually, dangers. Them, them dang old power dangers. Yeah, yeah. Actually, be, before we start this, I want to, I want to, I want to bring forth a donation incentive. Um, so, uh, from, uh. From about the moment I oh, finished yes. say, making the statement, uh, we're, uh, Cheapskate has offered up for uh, the first person to make a donation of one dollar or more. <laughs> we'll get we'll get a. They drawing. don't call him Cheapskate for nothing. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a drawing of a picture of a blimp or a hand turkey. Um, so that starts now. Your choice. 
Church. <laughs> yeah, please put in your please put in your donation note whether you want the blimp or the hand turkey. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Do both use your hand because the blimp would be quite a blimp quite turkey. a press. Yeah. A hand yeah, blimp, like, right. yes. Right. So if you right. do, and if you don't get that one, uh, this is one I'm just coming up with on the spur of the moment. Uh, first person to donate fifty bucks, um, I will send you some of the best pictures I took when I was out living on a Pacific island, and you can tell me which one you want me to make into a poster for you that I will send to you. Ooh. Okay, but I, I can't make that one active uh, until this one's complete. <laughs> okay. Somebody just donates so the, the money. dollar comes first. <laughs> one at a time. Coming up next. One dollar donation. <laughs> Fifty one dollar donations. These aren't just some half-assed hand turkeys, man. I'm going to put some effort into it. Well, or blimps. I don't know if you've got some hand turkey competition happening right now yeah, with the stream. Air, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, sorry, Kumquat. Tell us about the the power dangers. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, um, those guys. So, uh, Lord Zed himself is this trope personified, a skinned corpse with metal armor, featureless faceplate over his crotch slash face. Well, same thing, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's an alien! Oh, you don't know! Face, that, might, him. <laughs> that might be his dick on his head, you don't know. Yeah. Uh, that was portrayed as complete... No, competently evil, with the evil plan victories to prove it, to the point that he was toned down to reduce the scariness factor. Lord I mean... Zed's personal zord, Serpentera, is powerful enough to destroy an entire planet, can fly across the galaxy almost as fast as the rangers could teleport, and was more or less indestructible when compared to any weapon at the rangers' disposal. I, I, I guess, but it, 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 it man in rubber suit. <laughs> no, Power Rangers are real. They're real. <laughs> oh, damn. So, well, so, Power Rangers are so real, but scary just... about Lord Zed is his power. So we've got, we've got a winner of the hand turkey. It's French toast. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Um, hey! In his in his uh, donation note, he he states, "Give me ten hand turkeys." <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's up to you whether or not because the the you know the <laughs> the offer was a for a single hand turkey. turkey. So, so you were in no way obligated here. to make all ten of those hand turkeys. Yeah, oh, I got oh, I got a plan. Oh God! Whoa! Oh God! <laughs> He turned into Lord Zed. <laughs> oh God! Nightmare! I have a God! Oh my God! Every day. The only weakness in my life is my right hand. Oh my God! Okay, uh, cheapskate. Your something voice is garbled. Something very terrible has happened to you. All right, all right. Just give me a moment. <laughs> That's what happens. It happens. The nightmare. The We're new getting nightmare. cursed. <laughs> that's a good effect, though. I wish you could make that happen on purpose. That's really good. <laughs> I would say that this this TV tropes thing did point out to me how Lord Zed is kind of like a cenobite of some type. You know what I mean? He got random tubes. That's kind of spooky. Yeah. It's like, just a body uh, suit he wears because he's. Do I still so sound funny. terrible? You sound great now. Yeah, it's because he has modesty, though. He doesn't. Like, hey, I guess he's, he's like, cover, he covers he's up, up, his he covers face. up his crotch yeah. face. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe he's a thin dude and he's just wearing like a bodysuit. Yeah, he's just he's not a skinned corpse. <laughs> yeah, that's all I had. Um, uh, where the uh, what the fuck? I don't know. Uh, anytime a series Megazord gets destroyed is scarring, but the most heartrending <laughs> is <laughs> the destruction of the Thunder Megazord and the White Tiger Zord. The White Tiger Zord's head falls off before the body, trailing wires and sparking, and collapses backwards. The Thunder Megazord stretches out an arm imploringly. The other falls off. Then the entire Zord falls apart bit by bit. Uh, fridge horror sets in as you realize nearly all Zords carry a degree of sentience. They, they, they got a bachelor's in it. Uh, yeah. Uh, pumpkin wrapper. What? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, you heard him. Pumpkin wrapper. Uh, pumpkin wrapper <laughs> has the charming ability to encase the rangers' heads in pumpkins, leaving them unable to breathe. Yeah, and it was hilarious looking. Okay. That does sound charming. That's accurate. It's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't That's it be more scary if people were laughing at you while you died? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Hey, uh, That's kind of how I see myself going out. So. Yeah. Hey, Might as well have a pumpkin on my head. Cheapskate. 
Yes. Want to want to help us delve into the nightmare fuel of uh, my little pony? Do I? Yeah. So the show uh, from the eighties. Terrifying yeah, image. Yeah, the show from wish. the eighties. Oh. <laughs> I mean that the one from the eighties did have some weird shit in it. I'm already scared. <laughs> Call of the cutie. The scene where Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon circle Apple Bloom like vultures while delivering a mocking speech. Trope. This goes to show that they're not your average cartoon bullies. They're not shallow or there to throw insults, but they're relentless and determined to eat the victim alive. Mm -hmm. Cartoon bullies do give mocking, mocking speech. Eat the victim alive! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that is pretty scary. Okay. While Rainbow Dash is fleeing from Pinkie Pie, she hides inside a bell at one point. Ah! What? Bells are scary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they're not tropes. But they're That's not true. tropes. No, no, no. Hiding in a bell is not a trope yet. <laughs> Pinkie Pie smashing Rainbow Dash with her butt. <laughs> he said butt. Butts are scary. <laughs> Rainbow Dash's look of horror, a trope, really seals the deal. The entire chase scene, while intended to be humorous, could be potentially frightening in just how inescapable Pinkie Pie is. Just like monster droopy dog. And when you... And when you see what happens to her later, trope. Man, this guy's gonna flip shit when he finds out about Peppy Le Pew cartoons. Let's, uh, can, we, can we uh, skip down to the horror of baby cakes? Oh, <laughs> yes. The scene where Pinkie Pie is searching frantically for twins after putting them to bed looks like a scene out of a horror movie. She no, finds it pump. <laughs> she's, she's calling it. It's a trope. Hater. I don't believe it. She finds pumpkin cake, the filly, in a closet, chewing on a rubber chicken in increasingly jarring slow motion. She goes out into the hallway to find pound cake, the colt. Oh, that's a character. I get it. <laughs> it's dark. The curtains are blowing. And there's weird music playing. It's a hot video. <laughs> <laughs> and she keeps hearing pound cakes laugh everywhere. It brings to mind some of the horror stories about babysitters alone in the dark, which are not true. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just paste just in the channel, and someone pasted in the thing. But that's what the characters they're discussing. Like, <laughs> wow. someone wants to put that in the, yeah. in the chat <laughs> or on Twitter. The blowing curtains also which imply one is pound cake. Yeah. The blowing curtains also imply that there is an open window somewhere, and Pound Cake has just started flying like he didn't fear the Reaper. And the Everfree Forest is never far away. <laughs> Everfree! It's terrifying! <laughs> I thought it was a brand of chewing gum. <laughs> I thought it was sparkling water. It's both. Yes. Like, why, why can't it? Why can't it be both? Because uh, that's horrifying. It's nightmare fuel. <laughs> is, is Zarla? Yes. I've had enough of these scary cartoons. Let's get into scary YouTube channels. Uh huh. Oh, Tell God. us about the angry. Wait, that's a trick question. The angry <laughs> video game nerd. Ooh. Oh no! no, no. <laughs> be what? unfunny and start an entire trend of shitty videos. <laughs> What? Did the angry video uh, game nerd ever go into the suicide forest? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I guess he has one up on. <laughs> is the suicide forest the same forest as the Everfree forest? Oh. <gasps> you should make a YouTube video about it. <laughs> there are, he finds a While playing a video game. <laughs> Pony theory. <laughs> but, all right. So, Pony the second Pecker. episode where he just sits and rants about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. James uh. said once this is the only episode where he was drinking real rolling rock. Ah! <laughs> Watching him sitting there, eyes widened into the camera, and suddenly shouting, that's a link to a trope, <laughs> a couple minutes in, and that slasher smile trope he makes at the end, shudders. Man. And, and, and then there was, there was the nerd trying to hide from Freddy in the Nightmare on Elm Street review. It's generally creepy, especially when Freddy pops up after a lot of buildup, and he has the nerd's face. Aren't you scared yet? Uh, not Why enough budget for makeup 
for <laughs> well what, what about what about in about? the in the Atari 520, no, 5200 5, review, when he plugs in the system's cord, sparks come flying out, and they weren't faked! Uh, guys! Uh, guys. Uh, this guy whipped his pants at every fireworks display. Uh, oh, this is nice a specific person. Gross. Can we add Kumquat to the suddenly shouting TV tropes page? Can someone get on it? <laughs> <laughs> And then all these suddenly, suddenly though. Shouting. Yeah, is it really suddenly is born shouting? <laughs> oh my god. Is there a never and not the, shouting? The nerd is outright terrifying at the end of the Dark Castle review. It's a curse to this soul, and it must suffer the tortures of the damned. He then proceeded to brutally flog the cartridge and disc versions of the game? While, uh, while they're in chains, no less. Oh, no. He actually hits the cartridge so hard he breaks one of the chains. Ah, the resale right. value. Ah. I, I can't picture this in my head. Yeah. Oh, he's going to lose his shit when he finds out what happened to all those E.T. cartridges. <laughs> <laughs> the mass grave of E.T. cartridges. No, those beautiful lives lost. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, Adam. Yes. All right, so we're, we're going to move on from uh, from YouTube personalities onto uh, logos. <laughs> this is uh -huh. this like I, I like the way that we're just like devolving. <laughs> 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 so, uh, like, tell us about ah. some some nightmare fuel logos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Uh, several Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies cartoons through the mid-30s oh and the mid-60s <laughs> would open up with a Warner Brothers logo zooming into position and accompanied with a loud tweet sound, uh -huh. and, which was startling, but nothing mind-scarring. But then it got <laughs> even worse on the 1954 Bugs Bunny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's it like half an orgasm. On the 1954. <laughs> huh? I'm scared. He really likes Hanson. I really like, really like that song. Let's be, let's be clear. This is talk about the 1954. This is not Oh, I thought you were talking talk about the logo. About I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, let, let Adam talk about the 1954... <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, JFK. Continue. I'm afraid that this isn't going to sound scary when I finish. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, it's going to be horrifying. No, 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 really, really scary. I'm sorry. You're yeah. so scary. I'm really Believe scared. You. The, the, the Warner Brothers logo got scarier in 1954 in the Bugs Bunny cartoon Lumba Jack Rabbit. And this is the first Bug Bunny cartoon released in, in 3D. Where the shield would literally zoom in farther than usual. <laughs> literally. Uh, literally. Literally, would it? Yeah. No, it was. I think it was gaslighting you, and everyone would say, "No, the shield came in at the same distance. You're just going crazy." Uh, unfortunately, in 2010, WB decided to pay tribute to the Lumberjack Rabbit intro for the Roadrunner 3D cartoon shorts, but this time, however, the shield zooms in faster and it bounces back into position. It's even worse than the original variant. The, the Looney Tunes cartoons released in 2003 were also homages to the Lumba Jack Rabbit intro, but were cheesy <sighs> and slow. And the intro to the Looney Tunes show also featured an homage to the Lumba Jack Rabbit start with the shield zooming in a la the 2010 variant, but the shield is more two-dimensional this time, and all these intros can be found at this link. Um, but it, that's all, folks. Closings were also freaky since it would magically write itself on the screen. This guy sees a title card on a silent it's movie. A I don't know who's writing it. <laughs> it's a ghost. There's no hand there. Is, it, is Jehovah creating a message for me? <laughs> oh, and what a sinister <laughs> message. In well, the beginning was the word, and the word was that was all. fuck you. That's the end. <laughs> the ones that ended with Porky Pig word is bad, but the idea of happy Porky burst out of the trunk. <laughs> it's a little odd. Besides, <laughs> that's an I tell. I'm I'm kind of 
amazed that they didn't what? just go so far as to be like, that pig walks and talks like a man, it's like, <laughs> to God, if that was real, it would be so spooky. I want to skip ahead to some Nickelodeon logos <laughs> that I have some troubles with. The first... <laughs> The first of these shows is the Red and Stippy show and Rugrats of VHS. They were preceded by this monstrosity, a rapid fire montage of Nickelodeon's various station idents from the 1980s that throws so much crazy and random stuff at you that it becomes a certified mind screw. What the fuck? Are they? I watched Editing. all of those as a kid. The medium blending of epic proportions doesn't help, and anyone who saw the wild movie in theaters will more than likely freaked out by this monstrosity at the beginning of the movie itself. This extreme close-up of a dog's nose sniffing <laughs> the screen. It was unnerving enough. No. As well as how hideous the dog itself looks. <laughs> how hideous this dog is. <laughs> oh, dogs are so hideous. Unlike cat I mean, girls, which are graceful and trim and dog. elegant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, the they're, they're angular as opposed to sharp. Oh, but <laughs> after we see what it's no. sniffing, what? No. Yeah, yeah. You, you've added an extra word in there. Oh, yeah. oh but after what we what? <laughs> after <laughs> we what is sniffing? After we what is sniffing? Which is the Nickelodeon movies logo. The dog tops it all off by licking the screen. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm, oh, no. I'm so here. Are, I'm here to take there over. The legends of like when the Great Train Robbery uh, came out, a very early silent film. It ends with a uh, cowpoke uh, taking a shot at the camera, and there are legends of people in the theater shooting back. Mm-hmm. I think that's what happened here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also afraid of the MGM no, logo. That's, no, I'm afraid of the MGM logo, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the MGM logo. Ooh, a big lion on the screen roaring at you would send chills down a kid. <laughs> the entire kid. What? <laughs> would send chills you it will. down a kid. Tigers and bears at mine. While in all... a week, it has to be true. <laughs> well, didn't you guys, when you first time you went to go see an MGM movie in the theater, didn't your parents have a discussion with you at McDonald's saying, like, now there is going to be a lion at the beginning of the movie, but don't worry. <laughs> Trigger and warning. When roars for the third time, start playing Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> 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 that way the aliens will never come down and take only us away as part of the rapture. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> while while all of the lions were scary to some degree, Tanner is often regarded as the scariest of all. By who? Tanner. Citation needed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me. Me. His name wasn't really Tanner. This no, may be this why trooper. Tom replaced him on occasion. <laughs> I'm guessing that's yep, Tom that's from Tom and Jerry. Why. That's Tom from Tom and Jerry. Yeah, yeah. They're... Yeah, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, they're like, well, guys, uh, we got to tone down the scariness. Um, let's get. <laughs> We're getting the... so many complaints about this lion. Hey, this gets the deep. Hayes it... office making edits. Hey, this conspiracy <laughs> goes deeper. If you can believe it, it gets creepier. The poor lions look so disoriented, being stuck in the frame. That's. <laughs> Creepy. Well, it's not a, lion that might eat you, a lion that's too disoriented to eat you. Confused lions. Ooh. In the opening for the U.S. version of The Fearless Vampire Killers, the lion the sprouts, sprouts <laughs> animated vampire fangs with blood dripping on them after he does his usual roaring. In the U.K. version, he turns into a green cartoon vampire. That's scarier because green vampires don't exist. Like uh... Count Dracula. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm talking right now. <laughs> Can't duck you, was pretty boss. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. The new no, MGM I, I, I logo, like introduced in 2012, is bound to catch many people off guard because the logo is animated in a way that exploits 3D. No, 3D was invented in 1954. I remember that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't want to look, the logo starts out with a extremely close 
an ex- I don't know why extremely close needs to be hyphenated, but okay. An extremely close zoom in of the lion's eye, which then pans out to a comfortable distance, the full view of the lion, and the ribbon, which continues uh, as usual with lion roaring. The entire logo is initially irised up out until you can see the entire face of the lion. Ah, uh, that's scarier than the eye because then you can see wow. both eyes. Yeah. Uh, I like how not delicate thought. they were. Like, just for those who don't want to look, don't worry. You don't have to go see the scary lion. I'll tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> also, the Greek theater mask below the lion is sort of creepy as well. <laughs> that should not have been an afterthought. That should have been the first fucking thing they said. <laughs> Greek theater mask. Clearly scarier than Lion. These people it's, got their priorities not straight. It's Greek theater, it's all hairy and they have baklava. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like political and stuff. That's really scary. Um, has everybody gone once? Penises. Have I missed anybody? What? I'm I haven't. Amazed I by this eyeball drawing that's going on. Gone? Yeah. <laughs> right now. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Zarla. Yes. Let's get into the meta stuff. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Under other, what's the where, where do we start here? TV itself can be nightmare fuel in some ways. Yeah, TV tropes in and of itself. Yep. That is the most oh. factual statement we've had so far. Yep. <laughs> the whole sixteen hours. <laughs> but, <clears throat> clicking through the nightmare fuel pages can actually be quite terrifying at times as many of the NF pages feature an especially scary image on them that appear right at the top of the page. This means that when you open up a certain NF page, said scary image will suddenly be displayed on your screen, hitting uh... you right in the face. There's absolutely no way to be prepared to what you'll see if you've never been on the page before. In a way, they're basically like silent jump scares. <laughs> I'm going to click on this thing that promises a scary thing. <laughs> and then there's going to okay, be a no. scary thing on it. And I'm startled by this. And it's not just the NF pages. Even the regular TV trope pages can open up with a rather unpleasant image. Okay, and I'll agree with that. there's still no yeah. warning for which one it'll be. And Sounds when you load the front video. page sometimes, if your computer is running a bit slow, you can see a <laughs> subliminal message planted in the top left corner of the screen just before the main page covers it up. Just one word. Yes, master, I will obey. And you wonder why TV tropes ruin lives. Oh, no, yeah. I don't. <laughs> because it makes you no, I I know why like that happens. Yeah, and okay. then to the forums, I know. <gasps> All right, so, Trope or tale? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so that was uh, <laughs> that was TV tropes, uh, the 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 regular TV trope stuff. And oh now, God, it hasn't been an hour yet. Uh, no, <laughs> we've still got like another twenty minutes of this left. We've got a lot of horror to come. Um, but yeah, because we're got Trope tales. <laughs> So this Yay! is uh, real life Yay! nightmare fuel yeah! experiences of people Full with, with circle. Yeah. With honest to God, like just just frightening experiences that they've had themselves. Um, yeah. Oh, oh my God, it's so bad. Uh, yay, yay! So I'm on page 18, and no. uh, wait, there's no page numbers. Well, if you if you scroll quickly on the right, it shows you on the. Scroll Always bar. include Google, page numbers, yeah. kids. Google Docs is super weird. <laughs> um, hey, uh, it comes. No bar. vertical ruler. Oh yes, hello. Uh, just do a search for tickle me Elmo. No! You assume I wasn't already. Of course I never want to with my partner ever again. <laughs> this troper is by now highly phobic of Tickle Me Elmo. Not just any Tickle Me Elmo. No. No. <laughs> Those can be tossed in a closet. Homophobe. Um, but but her, her nephew's Tickle Me Elmo... Uh, I have always found the concept of talking toys disconcerting. Yes, the irony that I have a collection of dolls is not lost on me, but none of them speak. Nice as far collection, as you know, then. until you go to sleep at night. <laughs> none of my friends speak either. <laughs> but, but when we brought this monstrosity home, it decided to go sentient. Yeah. <laughs> Go sentient. Yeah. It's your birthday. Go sentient. <laughs> it's your birthday. Go, uh, go sentient. I am oh, not balls. making this up. My Wait, friend Colby had punched it 
thrown it across the room and it started laughing. Yeah, because that's what it's programmed to do. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. mess up the tickle me attention. Elmo started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill me. And the Elmo was like, oh god, stop it when I threw it across the room. <laughs> then, then he choked it and it went again, again. And most recently, I went down into my kitchen at night to get a soda for a late night role playing session. <laughs> Take me, Elmo. I saw Might as well go no for soda. <laughs> turn on the lights. It it announced amongst the darkness all uh, those yes. darknesses. <laughs> the <laughs> plural darknesses. Yeah. It announced amongst the darkness. I love you. <laughs> the worst part is my mother and stepfather do not believe me when I tell them that we need to replace the Tickle Me Elmo with a less evil variety. God, I cannot even imagine <laughs> yeah. that conversation. Mom, Dad, the Tickle Me Elmo is, like, alive. It's oh, so we're keeping on this one. Website. Sometimes in the dark. We're Tickle Me Elmo has to be possessed. possessed. It said it loved yeah. me. That can't be normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we want to keep that around because it can tell you that it loves you because we sure don't. <laughs> well, at least you heard it from someone. And then the mom and dad high five each other. <laughs> uh, bump See, what gets me is that the and then he choked it and it went again, again. This is this person's definition of sapient, of like sentience, <laughs> of like autoerotic asphyxiation is sort of like, <laughs> ah, this thing must be sentient because it my, wants me to choke it. My elbow's a perk. <laughs> It's not like, oh, this is clearly a misprogramming because I shook it and it's saying again and again because I think it's being tickled, but he knows it's being choked. Therefore, wanting that means it's sentient. Well, to be fair, the first Elmo was a pervert. That's true. <laughs> uh, and Bump Girl, I've got the, you've got one here. Oh, no. It's in, it's in the Discord Why chat. Why am I doing this? <laughs> we, we've got one where? Define here, Boots. Discord chat. <sighs> I, I hate that place. Hey, by the way, kids <laughs> don't know what Alphab is. Okay. So is this a little bit here? Okay. God, that's, you guys, that's you're old. Okay. <laughs> kids these days. Okay. So this troper, which I totally am, drew a few monsters based off of his bone shape. Oh, yeah. Completely ignoring the actual shape of the skeleton. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. Skeleton bone. Yeah, okay, got it. Um, and just looking at the visible bones. Why are there bones visible in your body? <laughs> That's a bad thing. Okay, we'll take it top, guys. We, we can understand this together. We can do it. Okay. This troper drew a few monsters based off of his bone shape. You're completely ignoring the actual shape of the skeleton and just looking at the visible bones. So just like a, just like a femur with little stick legs and like an angry face? I'm thinking what he did was like he took the skeleton he did like when the paleontologists reconstruct the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, oh, so he only has one fragment. Skeleton. <laughs> yeah. So he's one fragment and he's extrapolating the shape of the skeleton? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this, this troper drew a few monsters based off of his bone shape, completely ignoring the actual shape of the skeleton. Maybe that's the nightmare part. Um, and just looking at the visible bones. Said oh, monster gave me nightmares. <laughs> Worst thing with it wasn't the weirdly shaped bones. It was the hands. I'm sorry, did I say hands? I meant fingers. Uh... <laughs> because mm -hmm. this monster has no hands, just fingers coming straight from the wrist. Uh -huh. Same with the feet, except replace hands with feet and fingers with toes. Help, I'm not good at drawing toes. anatomy. Uh... Someone take the flashlight away. Uh... <laughs> it's so scary. So scary. All right, it's it's oh, it's time for haikus. It's time <gasps> for TV Tropes Nightmare Fuel haikus. Um wow. so uh so let's just go in order uh Zarla, Adam, Bump Girl, Cheapskate. Kumquat, uh, Portex, and then me. Those were a whole bunch of words, and you're gonna have to make them happen again. It's later. the order that they are in the in the, in the, the Discord channel. chat. We can we can we can all do this together. Oh, in the we part where it says I'm this. friends with people that I'm not friends with. Yeah. 
No, no, it's not. Okay. It's we fine. are friends. Oh aren't we? You're, after, you're after Adam. Just do that. <laughs> That's We're good. Your only Who's Adam? Now. Me. <laughs> The heat rises and knees shake. I want to run, but my nerves have shut down. By DJ Merritt. <laughs> <laughs> Pray to the old man, God, <laughs> but there is no help found here. God fears as well. Oh, your classic, <laughs> your classic five eight four haiku. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Bob, girl, Bob. These are things that hell itself couldn't handle. You expect us to? Timber. <laughs> <laughs> I will haunt your soul. Look upon this sight and dream eternal nightmares. Chaos crimson. Oh, that's the sexiest I'm, thing. I'm so uh, glad. I'm so glad. Come quiet has this one. Uh, <laughs> war warning to headphone users right now. Ah! 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 Wasn't so bad. Look, I'm returning this parrot. You have to take it back. I can't take it. <laughs> I never want to see like a cartoon with that's like starring Kumquat as a parrot. Yeah, I want Kumquat the parrot. I see you hiding. There's nowhere to run from me. I do not exist. Nobody. Oh, I remember when Ulysses blinded you. <laughs> and that, that's a link to the Nobody trope. Nothing is scarier. Trope. <laughs> uh, this page is scary. I can't see those images. I can't look at Jeff. Red Nessimon. <laughs> Damn it, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, that's your problem. <clears throat> Body is frozen. A cold grip wraps through your neck. The hand is your own. By Sinist Arg. <laughs> that's a really good username. <laughs> I hug her. <laughs> yeah, this is the first thing I've liked all night. Arg. <laughs> Sinistar. Sinistar. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need a hug now. The Penguin King. <laughs> No. I'm sorry, Penguin King. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, Penguin King. Oh, I'm so God. sorry. Oh, I need a heart. Um, and so the last thing we have in this doc is uh, called A Couple of Bonus Creepypastas. I don't know. Really? I think that's an oxymoron. <laughs> what, <the> bonus? <laughs> Creepypastas? Yeah, a couple like, is it really a really cartoon two, one and then a couple really bonus, long. and then bonus <laughs> creepypastas? Like, is this kind of like oxymoron yeah, with an oxymoron? Like the creepypasta is called a parliament. <laughs> <laughs> More like malice creepypasta. <laughs> well, oh, oh, you've gone robot again oh, there, uh, Cheapskate. Scared. Oh, yeah, that was awesome, know. though. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Robot. Don't worry, Cheapskate. Yeah. I don't. Okay. <laughs> no. Probably okay. Have to fine. Joe out failed. We'll never this. use again. No, you're still good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh, I'm good. Joke again. Yeah, yeah everybody's right. good. It you're happened right. for a second. We're all good. Okay. Everybody's good. It's. it's Wasn't it scary? We've done, we've done <laughs> 15 hours of this thing. Everybody's uh, good. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Me. Wait, what you? Me. What? Oh, we're getting a nice uh, artistic rendition Ooh. of uh, of the Kumquat of, of, of the Kumquat parrot. <laughs> 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 He's so cute. I want one. Boots, I want one. Okay. That's what I expect. Great, okay. Just, yeah. Oh, you're such a good bird. Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, you're a pretty bird. Oh. <laughs> it's good because I'm not allergic to birds. Uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> oh. 
this 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 story is called Tails. No. This story is called Tails Doll. No. I, I'm gonna start it off. Oh, good, the Tails Doll. Yeah. That's oh no. Is this definitely a, Sonic a scary thing? thing and not a dumbass movie. Oh, yeah, of course it's a Sonic thing. Oh god damn that it! You need a Sonic fetish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you feel the sunshine, Bunk Girl? Can you? <laughs> Can you? You don't want to feel the sunshine. <laughs> Gil and his friend Noah were looking for games for the Sega Saturn at EB Games when they came across <laughs> Sonic R. <laughs> they, came, they came across Sonic R. Gil was going to ask how much it was, but when he got to the counter, the salesperson said for them to take the game for free and get out. When Noah heard the salesperson say, take the game with you, he dropped the games he was looking at and ran over to Gil. Did he say we could have the game for free? He asked. Gil was going to shake his head no when the salesperson said yes. Ooh. Noah grabbed Gil by Morning. his arm and the game and pulled them out of the store into his house. When they got to Noah's house. Them all the way to the house. Wait a minute. Stop they just invented me. teleportation without telling us. <laughs> That's scary. It's scary. Ah. Ah, when they, they got to, into the house. When they got to Noah's house, <laughs> Noah got his Sega Saturn and Sonic R and put the game in. And when the game started, they didn't see Sonic or Knuckles. They only saw what looked like Tails. Noah thought it was just a glitch or that someone hacked it. But Gil knew it was more than a glitch or a hacked game. Much more. <laughs> People are for hacking Sega Saturn. Oh, yeah. All right, Portex. Oh, that makes it even better. Portex, read the next paragraph. (laughs) Portex. Portex. The first thing, the first (laughs) thing they noticed when Noah started the first race was that the track was full of dark red and black and the music was playing, Can You Feel the Sunshine? (laughs) Backwards. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, Noah thought that, says that. that it was <laughs> a hack, oh. but Gil thought the game was haunted. He didn't think that their copy was the only haunted version of the game. <laughs> it's a cottage industry. <laughs> After all, there is that Majora's Mask copy that's been floating around for a while. Uh, he thought all of the copies were haunted by Tails. <laughs> the Man, this, this, this Tails guy is an always Sonic the Hedgehog games. There's only one explanation for it. When Noah beat the first race, he unlocked Super Sonic. Gil knew that Noah didn't get all seven Chaos Emeralds, but Noah didn't question how he got him. But he did stand up and cheered for himself. <laughs> how did you unlock him so quickly? asked Gil. Uh, and Yeah, and then uh, Bump Girl. Read, which, ah, read whichever fuck. paragraph. Once again, speak up and get totally fucking. Read mad. whichever paragraph you want. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick one. one They're all fucking the same. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, then. When the race started, Super Sonic was standing on the track by himself over the ready, set, go! Was said. Um, Super Sonic started to move by himself. Gil looked over to Noah and saw that his hands weren't on the controller. As soon as Super Sonic crossed the finish line, Noah was able to control him and looked like what, what Tails was right behind him. Wait, why is this scary? Okay, no, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. It's very scary. When Super Sonic and Tails, quote, unquote, crossed the finish line, it looked like Tails, quote, unquote, won it, but it said Super Sonic won. That's when they said... When that's when it said they unlocked the Tails doll. Oh, gross! And the Tails doll curse. Oh, good. When this happened, <laughs> Noah and Gil just achieved a lot. You are now cursed. Yeah. <laughs> like a cheery little pop up. You are cursed. You are now cursed. It's a chivo. <laughs> when this happened, Noah and Gil look both very confused. Is that a letter? Noah asked Gil, and all Gil could do was nod his head. Noah went to play as the Tails doll when the letter opened up. Whatever you do, don't read that letter, Gil warned Noah. But Noah didn't listen and read it anyway. What it read was, can you feel the sunshine lyrics backwards? Oh. <laughs> sunshine, the feel you can. <laughs> Strokab. <laughs> Things being backwards when... feels like such a, like... 
seventh century idea of evil. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stroll can. Yeah. A man to plan a canal panel? <laughs> ah, Stroll yeah. can. Yeah. When Noah was done, the TV started to vibrate. Noah Backwards. took a hammer and started to hit the TV with it. That's the first thing that's time. happened all night. It's my TV killing hammer. Yes. The TV stopped vibrating. I stopped the TV from vibrating, Noah said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but now how do we play the game, Gil said. I have a TV in my room, Noah said, as he unplugged the system from the now broken TV and wall. You do know Ooh. that your mom and dad are going to kill you for breaking the TV, Gil said. I no, Noah said, but it was worth it. And uh, Adam, uh, just read the last uh, paragraph in the doc. Uh, just wrap up the story. <gasps> the very last paragraph? Yeah. Gil then stepped on its head of the tail saw <laughs> the and ran saw. to the yeah. kitchen to get one of the kitchen knives <laughs> and swung at the doll again. The tail saw caught it again and killed Gil. Oh, no. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> Gil kill. Yeah. The like did he, he kill him with a knife or just uh like you know independently of that? Yeah. Just got the knife and then just like, you know, like, fucking he picked him up on accident and Jesus. dropped him into spikes like can't remember tails really the death He caught the knife and then he told a really good joke. <laughs> and killed The tail stall went back into the upstairs TV. Is that the, the police one that then broken? came What? Is, sorry. I sorry, I'm just not following. Is that the one that was broken or the one that wasn't broken? It was the bonus TV. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Was the, this the all took place in the Central Command Station. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the police then came to the house because the neighbors called saying that they heard a lot of noise coming from Noah's house. But when they Excuse got me, 911? There... Yeah, Noah's house? It's got a lot of noise coming from it. Can you come over to Noah's house, please? Nope, I heard there's a tail stall in there. <laughs> but when they... It's like a Saturn. Nice. <laughs> This is scary. This is the scary part. <laughs> but when they got there, Noah and Gil were both upstairs in Noah's bedroom. One of the police officers. <laughs> One of the police officers took the Sega Saturn to the station, and his partner said that there was no murder weapon. So he the just officer... took a Saturn. Yep. The officer then We're took the system to his house and played the game, the tag game, with the tails ah. doll. <laughs> it's another police forfeiture abuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real horror here is asset forfeiture. All right. So in, in the next uh, in the next twenty seconds, what did we learn <laughs> this hour? <laughs> Cut back to Count Floyd in the studio, looking baffled. Yeah. Oh, it's a really <laughs> thing scary. scary. Uh, Gay TV trope. Ooh. I learned that the soundboard is really fun. <laughs> there are some people who will never be old enough to watch children's cartoons. Yeah. I think that Noah and Gil are like in a homoerotic relationship. So there's like a subtext to this story. There's the always dolls. subtext on TV tropes. The Tales Doll of Society. Can't spell subtext without butt sex. That's not true at all. <laughs> that's okay. not true. And that was. No, and... he said you can't. Yeah, you're he right. said you can't. Okay. That's true. Uh, that was the TV Tropes Nightmare Fuel uh, slot up next. Oh, wait, this is what I actually learned. Oh, okay. TV Tropes Nightmare Fuel is in and of itself Nightmare Fuel. Oh, uh, you got it. Wow. <laughs> we did it. We were the monsters all Yay. along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next we have the Greenland Theory. It's going to be hosted by Kumquat. Uh, oh, boy. It looks like we're, pro- <laughs> we're saying... Did you know that, Kumquat? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't an answer. Yeah. And, uh, Sanguinary, still, <laughs> Sanguinary Novel answer. still going to be with us, and I'm just going to break now. So goodbye. Bye. 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 Hey, boots. Stay with us. Bye.